What's the strangest thing someone said to you during sex? NSFW. I think I just shit. Totally did but not much. Thanks no seriously. Just a straight up thanks. Good teamwork. Where do you get your curtains? I had a slightly younger chick going down on me. I guess I made a funny face or sound or something. But she pulled up all concerned and asked did I just kill you? Old man. Don't worry. I'm already pregnant. Do you want to take a picture of this? As she's walking out of the bathroom about 20 seconds post nut all over her face. I don't give facials very often so it was a pretty big load. She's a bit of an exhibitionist and I guess wanted to document the occasion. My dad has a camera up there points above armoire but I don't think he has it on right now. One and done was having sex on a jungle gym it's a long story with this Irish girl I'd just met whose accent was so thick I could barely understand her. We're going at it a while and I'm f her from behind. And she says, oh I like that. F me fanny now. In Canada, fanny means ass. So, being the cordial gentleman that I am, I insert myself into her anus. What I didn't know at the time, is that fanny means vagina in Ireland, and she was not inviting me to put my willy in her nilly. She turns to me and says, Oh you're a cheeky lil bugger aranches. You're so much better than my boyfriend. Hell ye are what? You can stick it in my ass if you want. I don't like it, but my ex did. Girl was a bit off. For the record, I did not. The remark threw me off and I was close to finishing anyway. At least she gave you options. Seduce me. It's a bit f late for that. Love. I had a quick inner parlay with my penis to keep it hard shush it's okay it's okay. We'll deal with it later. I don't know if I'm going to pee or come, but something is going to happen. It wasn't over sex. It was over sex. She told me she wanted me to put Fruit Loops between her legs, including inside her vagina, and have me eat them while she poured milk between her cleavage. Trust me, she was serious. I had gotten some other f***ed up requests and did couple of them because, well, sex. Most included food. I got married last week. After we both came she whispered into my mouth. It's free real estate. I said dude, that's amazing while getting a blowjob from this chick one time. Then I started laughing because I say dude so much that I just said it to a girl sucking my dick. Then she stopped and was like why the f*** are you laughing? As a Californian, I can assure you that dude is now genderless. Dude is my husband. Dude is my female coworker. Dude is that cat over there. We were getting ready to bang for the first time. She grabbed my dick and said I can't wait to put this inside you and I have never stepped laughing since. Relevant Oglyph. Reverse cowgirl. Going at it pretty hard. She suddenly stops. And silently gets off me and lays down next to, but not touching me. Is everything okay? I ask. I don't think I love you. Well f My reaction was silence for a minute. Then I got up. Put on my pants said something like I don't know where that came from, but I think I should go, and left. Later that day she texted me apologizing and asking if we could talk. I begrudgingly met her at a park, and she apologized saying she freaked out because our relationship had been getting more serious. She asked if we could keep dating, and I agreed. No more weird shit like that for the rest of the relationship until she justifiably broke up with me because I was being a dickhead pretty out of character altogether. In a Hagrid accent you remind me of your father Harry it was totally random and I am a girl. I was about to have sex for the first time ever with my high school girlfriend, and it was her first time as well and as soon as I put it in she screamed I want to f kill myself. It ruined the mood pretty quickly. Okay but let me finish first. I am an amputee. In the midst of it, she whispered, I wonder if your stump would fit in my pussy. And, question mark. Just dark enough to make out her face in bedroom, she grabs me and emits the creepiest, raspiest voice I've ever heard while staring into my eyes. Make US whole. And that was my first fear boner. Lie on me. Confused. I lay down flat and kind of hugged her to me. No. Harder. 
crush me. Earlier she told me that her father raked her as a little kid and she could mainly remember how heavy he was on her. I can't imagine the complexity of getting off on something that was tied up with such trauma. Reliving trauma in an environment where you are in control is helpful for many people. It's a very normal response to being molested. It is also helpful in other forms of trauma. Take control. I farted and you're going to notice. Lol alright. I was inside her when she stopped moving and asked me to do the same. Then, she just said come, come now. Like she was firmly instructing a puppy or something. Weird as it was. It was practically telepathy. I exploded. That dom has your bitch ass trained. I was hooking up with a close friend of mine for the first time at a Halloween party. We were pretty drunk. And it was super fun. But he started, singing, quietly at first. But then louder and louder until he's kind of yell singing BYYYE by Muz. American Pie. Drove my Chevy to the LEVVY. Like, that song wasn't playing anywhere. No idea why that was the song he picked. And he pretty much kept singing until he came. I kinda just went with it. It was the only time we ever hooked up so I never got to find out if he always did that. Or if it was a one-time thing. I still randomly think about it and laugh though. Moose. American Pie. So random. He was probably just trying to get his focus off sex so he doesn't bust in 5 minutes. He wanted it to last a long time. Though doing it out loud is different. I usually just say ice cream flavors in my head. While eating me out. My boyfriend said if you fart. I'll puke all over your vagina. We're married now. You know you aren't the biggest I've been with. Totally unprompted. That's when you say that hers is the biggest you've ever seen. This is a bit off topic but still relevant I feel. She never had a guy just let her observe their genitalia until she met me. During the course of our relationship she had a blast using my penis as a microphone and pretending my scrotum was a hat and she also named my asshole, Keith. It was all actually really funny. I was totally in love with her. Oh dear grandma, wah. I was 18 at the time, so I don't think I resembled his grandmother in any way. Maybe you gummed his penis like his grandma used to. The last girl I had sex with cuddled up to me and started meowing to be all sexy and I wasn't about it. Leading up to sex. She didn't do that once and talk normally. She would meow randomly and make cat noises throughout sex and then when we took a break to grab food. We sat out with my roommates to eat and she would whisper meow into my ear. My roommates heard. So now they meow at me. Second time I ever met this girl. Invited her to a party I was hosting and she lived far enough away where it was heavily implied she would be staying over. In the middle of sex she stopped me to ask so where is this relationship going? As some of Reddit already knows the fact that I missed the opportunity to say down before disappearing under the sheet still haunts me to this day. Your answer obviously should have been. Let me sleep on it. Baby. Baby let me sleep on it. Let me sleep on it. And I'll give you an answer in the morning. Really it's the only way to answer when a girl does the whole. Stop right there. I got to know right now before we go any further. Do you love me? Will you love me forever? Do you need me? Will you never leave me? Will you make me so happy for the rest of my life? Will you take me away and will you make me your wife? Do you love me? Will you love me forever? This girl really wanted to bang. Like months in the making it was no secret how freaky she was and during the deed she said choke me harder. Repeatedly. It was hot at first. Until I could see her face turning colors while she was still saying it. I want to nut. Not commit murder. I got a fart. Pull out real quick. Pulls out. B R R R T T T. Did you f an A10? She asked me, hey, you wanna eat Chinese after? I f love Chinese food. Tastes even better after sex. Not strange. But my ex kept calling me Mr. President drunkenly after she had binge watched Scandal earlier that week. I thought it was hilarious. Finish quick I need to break up with you and the reason she broke up with me. She had been cheating on me and preferred the other guy. I reached down and touched your private area. It was during phone sex with my first serious girlfriend. I found it odd then and still find it odd now. Oh yeah. Ite. Ite. I put on my robe and wizard hat. 
I like your penis. It's very funny. Showed of my helicopter skills in between rounds. Just come inside me. I'll get an abortion. Like in a dirty talk voice. Repeatedly. As pro-choice as I am. I learned that I'm not really into talking about abortions during sex. Not said to me but I know the girl who said this. She was hooking up with the class president at her college and in the middle of doing it said you're the president of this pussy. This'll change your life and then some awkward. sub sex followed. Life hasn't changed yet. I'm not calling her a liar but.